when calmer conditions will allow for a more thoughtful approach. Where are you going? To give a representative of the accused an opportunity to defend himself. General Stevenson, you know, this is Lieutenant Colonel Benjamin O. Davis, the commanding officer of the squadron in question. Be seated. Colonel, you are aware of the accusations, uh, such as malaise and fatigue in the face of little enemy contact? We've been in continuous combat for months with no replacements, sir. My men are tired. Other units get four fresh bodies a month, but something always seems to go wrong with our paperwork or movement orders. How many missions have your men flown, Colonel? Most have flown well over 50, which is the standard cutoff point at which white pilots are sent home. And your men are still flying? They don't know what else to do with us, sir. White pilots rotate back to the States as instructors, but since the Army won't allow colored pilots to train white cadets. Nine months training. Countless missions in Africa, and not one air-to-air -air kill. Isn't that right? We can't fight what we don't see. We've been stationed so far from frontline action, we rarely encounter an enemy plane, let alone the opportunity to engage one. You recently lost a pilot who cut and ran from, what, an imaginary message man? Those men understand Lieutenant Cappy's action was a mistake. Stakes are all we see, young man. Late for mission briefings, piss poor discipline and leadership, and nothing but excuses. What I see is a unit that's an embarrassment to the Air Corps, to the American people, and to themselves. Might I remind you, gentlemen, that this war is by no means won, and this sad experiment is a drain and a hindrance to that effort. My vote is that we abandon the project and move the agenda. All we asked for was a chance to prove ourselves, a fair and impartial opportunity. We thought we had that chance. But you invite us to a poker game, hand us a fixed deck, and then wonder why we can't win. Young man, we really don't... Let him finish, sir. Every colored pilot in the 99th went to his own private hell to wear those wings. Every one of those men carry not only the burden of their dreams of becoming American military aviators, but the hopes of an entire people as well. Am I the only one in this room that understands just what that means? I was brought up to believe that beneath it all, Americans are a decent people with an abiding sense of integrity and fair play. The cheers I heard across this country when Joe Lewis and Jesse Owens humiliated Hitler's master race didn't just come from proud colored folks. They came from everyone. How are we to interpret that? As a United States Army officer who gladly puts his life on the line every day, there is no greater conflict within me. How do I feel about my country? And how does my country feel about me? Are we only to be Americans when the mood suits you? A fair and impartial opportunity is all we ask. Nothing that you yourselves wouldn't demand. 